We got a daily update video on SPY. Uh, like I said this morning, got to be careful trying to be bearish while it's holding above 395. I caught a nice scalp today to the downside. It was just this move. I think I got like 30 to 40% because I had like um, tomorrow's expiration and Monday's expiration. Maybe I had Monday's expiration. Either one day, either tomorrow or Monday. So that's the kind of money you can make from those types of moves. And I honestly thought we would have more downside. Um, so I had took a shot at some puts for about a month out. But like I told you guys, you got to be careful trying to trade it while it's in its range and just take it for what it is. If you don't get no movement, you don't hold till the next day. You have to get out. So... Uh, going into close, I closed those out for around like 15% loss, which is cool. Uh, going forward, tomorrow, we'll be looking at, got a pretty easy, relatively easy setup. So um, what we had here was something that was previously support. Then it broke, right? So then it comes back and it rejects. It comes back, it rejects again. It came back today. Reject it once again. Now we're looking at a potential break and move higher. So ultimately, I'm targeting, um, I'm going to call it this price area between 405.80 and 407. So I think if anything, if you break, you might get a pullback here, a retest, and then get there. Um, so it could go either way. And the reason I'm looking at that range, that area, you got clear supply right here. And then you have um, a level which was support, broke. Um, well, it, it flushed right there, right? And then it came back and broke, retested. Cool went higher so then we came through we flushed it and now we'll be right back at that price again see what i'm saying so if we get there we could likely see some resistance but then if we break through that then the next areas we're looking at is um here and then here that's a bit of a ways away and i would say looking at the swing high anchor view how that's lining up with that uh, 407 price area, 406 to 407 price area is where I'd hang a view up at. I would be fairly cautious there. I probably gonna get some type of rejection. Um, but if it does manage to break through it next week or so, that's what you're looking for. And then from there, I would be probably stop and wait for the next setup. But of course, keep your stops tight on the way up. Uh, I think that what we talked about earlier with this uh, break is cool. It's a good trade because even if it doesn't make it all the way to those targets, you got a fairly decent setup. Um, I would call it a higher probability setup. And uh, is, even if you just make it here just to that point, you can make a lot of money from that. So you can make a couple thousand dollars for trading something like this, say 50 to 100% returns if you get short-term contracts. So that's what I'll be looking for. And then in runners, I might leave with some time on the contracts and target those areas we talked about higher. But um, this is where I would say we got a high chance of getting to if the break is successful. If the break ain't successful, it's going to try to break out and then come flush through. So just be mindful of that and uh, be a responsible trader. This is not financial advice. But if you're interested in stocks, learning how to trade stocks, chart stocks, do technical analysis, uh, trade options, then this is what we do. I send these details out to the group, and then we go forward and trade. So I'll edit the playlist, and I'll catch you for the next video.